it's your boy Dilly once again this is the Toronto FC career mode in this one I'm just going to be looking at the team just a little bit as I scroll down here I can just tell there isn't that much quality in here I think the only player that has a decent rating here it is Sebastian Javinko as you can see he's got 82 He's 82 rated, and then Altado used to play for Sunderland, if I'm not mistaken, and is rated 80, uh, 77. Uh, the two strikers here, I think it's a little bit decent, but overall, I don't think this is a, a good enough team to compete. It's, it cannot compete in Europe whatsoever. But this is MLS for you, and uh, I'll try my very best to do something about it. Uh, let's look at here. We might need to sign one or two players, uh, resign one or two players into their contracts here. I'm just going to do at least two seasons, and then we're going to call it a day. As you can see, our first match of the season, it is against... So, like, uh, let's just look at the finances department here and see how much we get. Our budget of the season, I played with this a little bit. Uh, it's really not more than, as you can see, our starting budget was 48 million. I had to do uh, send some scouts out a little bit. Uh, as you can purchase players, I don't know where that 20 million is coming from. I think it was the first uh, signing of the season that I was not involved with, and uh, that cost 20 million. As you can see, now we have right about 30 something million to spend. And let's look at the board objectives for this season and beyond. Now, looking at the board expectations, our financial expectation is to finish the season with seven million eight hundred and forty thousand unspent allocated funds transfer budget and wages budget so out of that uh 33 million or whatever 30 something million that we have we need to finish the season with at least seven million that's going to be difficult it's not the transfer window just yet the transfer window is going to start in July on a regular scheduled transfer windows as it goes uh, in Europe. I guess that's how they do it here in North America as well. And then uh, domestic success, Major League Soccer, it is you have to become the playoff champion over here. They do it as a playoff. I don't even understand it myself, but I got to represent the city in some shape or form here continental success there isn't none of that so that's a low uh brand exposure within three seasons increase ticket uh season tickets holders with at least 10 percent of the stadium's capacity and for the stadium as well you can choose whatever stadium you want to use there isn't one that really represents toronto as much as I would like, I don't know why they cannot put Bimo Field in this uh, on, onto FIFA. It is a really beautiful stadium. I've been there a couple of times, but that's about that. Our youth development here on a short term, we need to sign one player from the youth academy assigned to the defender position. Uh, that should be very, very easy. We should be able to accomplish this. Uh, this season, I think that's pretty much it about the uh, uh, board uh, expectations here. Now, let's look at the squad. Now, looking at the squad, as you can see, the formation we have uh, Jose Altador up front with Javinko, and then uh, Van der S uh, Will here. We got Delgado, we got Vasquez, and then we got uh, Maro, and then we got Bailey. Uh, Mavinga, Mavinga, and more, and uh, Zavaleta, whatever that is. 
and then bono is the most rated goalkeeper that's that i have here and then uh rickets or uh, ozario and chapman uh are in there as well as you can see the reserves there isn't really much to really brag about here i might need to make one massive signing probably a goalkeeper as you can see uh let me see here, here. Our next goalkeeper, Peterson Sewell, is only 64 rated. Uh, I think that's very poor. And our main man, the number one goalkeeper, is only 69 rated. Uh, this could be a very much interesting series. Uh, we don't really need to make that many signings. I will try my very best to use this formation. I try to go to every team and use whatever formation that team is uh using i'll try to use that as well but if this one doesn't work i will try and change and change the formation to what i'm familiar with uh but hopefully this is gonna work but we're going to start the first game using this formation and uh hopefully when the transfer window comes we can uh make one or two massive massive signings i think i'm going to need uh, another center back as you can see the our third choice here is only 69 rated as well uh fourth choice is 68 rated that's really about it that's the toronto fc and by the way for those that don't know toronto fc won the major league soccer championship last season so i'm really really happy with that uh to be honest i don't really go to games but uh, after them winning uh, that championship, I think it has inspired me a little bit just to make sure I support the team and I support the city and all that. I've been very, very disappointed with the uh, pretty much North American sports in general. They're just a little bit uh, disappointing. I mean, there's soccer and all that, but Major League Soccer, uh, it's not as, uh, it, it hasn't reached that pinnacle yet where you cannot miss the game and all that but i think uh in the start of this season for toronto fc i will try my very best to follow the team as much as possible i might do a little bit of youtube commentating on that if that's possible but i'll just leave that to the pros if anything uh our next uh first game here it is against uh salt lake I think we deserve to kick off the season with a win as you can see uh let's look just look at the tables here i think they do it in two there is an eastern conference and there is western conference as well as you can see the other teams in the western conference you got uh you got a minnesota united colorado rapids you got uh, fc dallas Houston Dynamo, LA, LA Galaxy, Real Salt Lake, and then Earthquakes, Seattle Sanders, Sporting K, uh, KC, wow, Vancouver Whitecaps. I don't know why they put them in the Western Conference, but whatever. And then we have Portland Timbers in the Western Conference. In the Eastern Conference, we have Atal Atlanta United, Chicago Fire, uh, Columbus Crew, SC, we have DC United, we have uh, Montreal Impact. I have seen a couple games of Montreal Impact. Very interesting when they play against Toronto FC. I think I went to two games of that. It was very, very interesting. And Toronto FC managed to win both games. And then we have uh, New England uh, sitting in sixth place there. We have New York City FC new york red bulls and we have orlando city and philadelphia and of course toronto fc we will try our very best to make sure that we qualify to the playoff uh, rounds in this uh, this season we're gonna try and keep ourselves right there in the fifth position uh between first and fifth that's where we should be to qualify for the uh uh, for the playoff rounds and hopefully we can win this trophy and just uh, Duplicate what Toronto FC did uh, Last season. I'm really really excited to be doing this Toronto FC uh, Career mode I think is overdue. I should have done it 
before i did the barcelona career mode but we are here now so we're going to do this toronto fc coming your way hopefully it's an interesting interesting season and for those that don't really know much about mls we're going to learn together because i'm not really uh schooled at it either now looking at the calendar here as you can see uh uh first game is against uh it's against salt lake uh second game in philadelphia uh vancouver white caps and then we go face sporting in the month of uh march and then uh, from there on we're just going to see what the league is going to present to us and hopefully it's a successful season our first uh mls competition i should say with that said i think we are ready to kick off the season here against real salt lake and that will feature in our next game uh thank you so much for watching i hope you guys look forward to this series uh, i'll try my very very best to make it as enjoyable as possible and with that said please do subscribe drop a like and comment and i'll see you guys next time